Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Stardew Valley The Lazy Farmer Build Episode 61. So in our last episode, we uh, we started our quest on, uh, on on making friends by get liquoring up Pam on her birthday. Uh, so she should be nice and happy with us. And might as well grab ourselves a good morning, Jojo Cola. Hey, Maru, you're not, uh, you're in a slightly different... Yes, it is wonderful. It absolutely is wonderful. Good. Good. Let's, let's try to actually make this one count. Somewhat annoyed. All right, not going anywhere near the mines. Clear, sunny day. Fair enough. And another letter. What do we have here? Oh, you're the one that has the cheese cauliflower. Interesting. Well, thank you, Pam. Thank you very much. Um, right then. Well, hang on. Let's get these iridium bars uh, made into something useful. Uh, what else do I need for the Iridium Sprinklers? Oh, just those. There we go. Seven of them. Hmm. What else can I do with this mineral shard? Prismatic shard. Mmm, prismatic shard. Well, we'll figure it out. Now what I am going to do... Uh, I do hope all of this area uh, grows... The trees here grow so that I can cut them all down. Uh, because this area is getting turned into croplands uh, during the summer, so I'm going to be expanding my uh, my holdings here. I mean, they look like they're all going to turn into proper trees. My uh, my uh, tree planting initiative is paying off. Oh, with the hay, I'll fast forward here while I go busting up through some of these trees. Since you have seen this, but you guys know how crucial wood is to our operations. So it is a absolutely necessary step. Uh, so uh, what I did here is I went ahead and changed uh, the bar the home barn for all my goats down to this one one because I ran out of stuff uh, and uh, I don't feel like going to, to cut up more grass and this one already has an allotment of that but two there's more room in here for them because it's not quite as crowded with uh, these yet oops so that's my reasoning go move. Actually, let's make some more, some more kegs and beehives first, and then we'll add them all together. There we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to start cooking some. Uh, Okay, uh, let's see here. What am I gonna see? Clay, I forgot the clay. Not, not that I'm not gonna need the whole stack there. And then we got one thing of maple syrup, so we can beehive that. And then it'll just be another matter of uh, 
continuously cooking down the wood. There we go, that should be good for a beehive. Yes it is. Alright, I'll go put those into place and then come back for the coal. Yeah, we want to do all of our beehive manufacturing sooner rather than later uh, to get the maximum amount of benefit out of it. Alright, two kegs. Which means one and two. Let's bring up our cranberries. And let them cook. Hey, that one tree in the back finally grew. <laughs> Didn't know if it was going to do that. Yeah, unfortunately, this storm does not seem to be the lightning-y type, but that's okay. I'll keep the lightning rods out just in case. You know what? I'm going to try something. inspect something if you will how much does it cost to buy coal straight up all right 150 is, is what it costs now to make one coal it takes 10 wood um, so let us find the cost conversion of 10 wood from Robin. And actually while I'm at it, let me go get my hardwood so I can give that to her for the quest. Because at this point, I mean, oh I'm still, I'm still going to be chopping wood, but sometimes it takes money to make money. Derp. Another preserves jar. Uh, yeah, that cranberries wine gets put in there. And we have to go get the hardwood. Not entirely sure what I'm going to be using the hardwood for now that uh, the house is built. Perhaps we will find another use. Oh, I can't. Ooh, that's not good placement. If I can't, uh, if I can't take rarity up to that little, uh, that little area, just in case I might need it, that's better. Yeah, she needs to be able to fit up there. Yeah, I guess I should go pick them up because they're all going to be gold stars. One tree uh, is uh, awaiting uh, destruction here. Waste not, want not. Oh, uh, poop. All right, so I just missed her shop-wise, but I can still deliver that hardwood that she's been asking for. Wood is perfect. Hey now. You like horseradish? No, you don't like horseradish. Alright, I probably just undid what I. Demetrius! Oh, I know you're gonna like a battery pack, right? You don't you don't like a battery pack? I guess you're, uh, I guess you're, um, you're not the engineer of the family dealing organics, filthy organics. More trees to slay. <laughs> that 
lone torch is still sitting on our island. Hey, how's it going? Ew. Okay, well, if that's uh, what floats your boat. There you go. Have a gift. Alright, now... Hmm. Let's poke our heads into our uh, greenhouse. That should be our next priority. Yep, the juice is ready. I'm going to let the juice sit so it can synchronize. Oh man, and now, my friends, is when we get to the period of time when we start using ancient fruit to brew. Oh, what the hey? We'll get that cooking. Because, yeah, essentially all of this stuff is going to be ancient fruit, including, yeah, the gold, the gold and the silver star stuff. I'm not going to liquid. Well, maybe I should liquidate that. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Be so much better if I didn't. But you know what? I'm going to stick to my thing. Until, until my processing supplies can catch up, I'm going to liquidate my gold and silver stars per my previous uh, thing here. That being said, I'm about to plop down two preserves jars, and I got two normal ancient fruits on me. You know what's going on in those preserves jars. Let's chop down this lone tree. And also this sapling, because it makes me sad. I don't know if that thing will ever grow properly. Ooh. You need to be tapped, don't you? Well, not really. You're eventually going to get cut down anyway. Everything in this middle section is bound to... Ah, I didn't want to do that. That one still had some life in it. It had some potential. We might as well pick these up. Oh, or not. Or not. Ooh, that, one, that needs to be tapped. All right, let's get rid of our full inventory here. Yeah, we don't replant that. We don't care about fiber. We're not here to plant maple seeds. We're only here to plant, uh, uh, what's it? Oak. Oak is our, uh, oak is the important one. <laughs> very, very important. I think we can get away with another preserves jar here. Yes, we can. Yeah, we'll have enough to make the jar itself once those things finish. All right, um, actually, Tapper, Tapper. And we'll still have enough for the jar. Excellent. Tapper. Now let's see what kind of garbage we've got here. Ooh, real garbage. Nice. Nice to see you about of actual full full court press garbage. Those tend to come up with the best rolls. Alright, one more of these lovely pre preserves jars. And I got some peaches in my inventory, so that's what's going to go into those. Oh, I'm actually using up a fair amount of my energy today. Not too shabby. Peaches. 
And away you go. And we'll put those in there for future processing. Let's take the sap out. We don't need that in here. All right, getting late, but I think we're in good business here. We'll put all of our uh, supplies away. I'm going to hold on to the wood almost permanent. Aha, speaking of wood. There we go. Well, let's put you in here while I figure out what to do with you. I mean, that prismatic shard is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, yeah, let's put away the clay. And I never processed my, uh, my goat's milk. Nope, not drinking it. Just cheesing it. As in, cheese it, it's the police. All right, got some coal out of that. That's not too shabby, actually. Now well, let's refine us up some some gold. Oops, don't need the walls. That's much better. Okay. Now, remember when we had to go fishing to wait for all those to finish? <laughs> I do. It was a fun time. It was a young time, but it uh, it has run its course, to say the least. Uh, oh yeah, let's cook. Let's cook those into more sashimis so that we have plenty to eat in the mines and we've got plenty to give to other people. Excellent. All right, I think a successful day. Good amount of cash on the wine, cranberries wine, and fair amount on the ancient fruit raw. We'll get even more once we start mass producing that stuff or mass harvesting it. <laughs> Ah, nice, clean, beautiful day. Yes, it is wonderful. Oh, well, thank you. What's the fried mushroom do for me? Combat damage, eh? Not bad. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in here as leftovers for now. Just for now. Ooh, got a spare soda in there. Hmm. Can I make cauliflower and cheese? Is that a thing? What does cauliflower and cheese make me anyway? Gotta find it first. Cheese collie. Cauliflower. Oh, and I need cow's cheese. Well, it's just a regular it's just a regular recipe anyway, so no matter. Okay, let's get let these goats out. Close that so we don't get goat apocalypse nine. Ooh, a couple of these finished up. Don't mind if I do. I'll take the beans while I'm at it. No. 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 Sheesh. Um, there are enough days in, left in spring to plant the rest of those parsnips. So let me go get those. No, we're not eating cauliflowers. Why would anyone want to eat a cauliflower? They're disgusting. I don't know who's buying all these things that I'm selling of them. Especially I don't know who's buying the cauliflower juice. Must be some kind of pharmaceutical conspiracy.
<laughs> they actually cut. They actually cure cancer, but the pharmaceuticals don't want to know that because they'll lose tons. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Conspiracy, com conspiracy theories 101 with Pinstar. Get your tinfoil hat, everybody. Uh, I can talk today, can't I? And once again, not too sure why I print. But why I planted the their uh, their their pine trees in their uh, their our tappers row? Uh, why uh, why the heck did I plant them? But they're getting chopped. Not unlike the Food Network show by the same name. And uh, yeah, looks like we got a few more things to tap. Assuming that's the correct thing to tap. Um, I still can't get tell them the part properly. I probably should learn by now. Wait, oh, yeah, you guys gotta get milked. And are you decimating my grass faster than it can grow? You guys are awfully close to doing that. Oh, come on, let me milk you. Oh, come on! Game? Don't you dare give me that game. Oh, the hit detection on this milker. I swear, we need a way to automate this thing. We have the technology in real life. It's called milking stations. They don't have much in the way of milk for me, do they? Nothing from the bees. There you go, finally. Well, that tree grew extraordinarily fast. Like, really crazy fast. All right. Hmm. Now, I know those two are... Well, I'll let these two finish producing before I uh, uproot them. Oh god, look at all this. Pays to check in. Sheesh. Pays to check in. Hmm. Oh yeah, these ancient fruits are getting kept here. And that's about it. Yeah, that them, and I'll use up the last of the strawberries here. But man, is that money ever going to start flowing in once we get those uh, ancient fruit wines going? <laughs> it will be craziness. Craziness, I tell you. Madness, even. Everything's better. Good old sustainable logging. Well, semi-sustainable, I should say. <laughs> uh, do I cut? Ooh, beehives are mostly done. Well, all right then. Don't mind if I do. I didn't want to pull that one up. That didn't want to pull that one up. That's why we have backups. Filling up the inventory fast here. No. Well, you are like always hungry, dude. Every time it's like, can I eat this? Can I eat this? Can I eat this? Can I eat this? What about this? I want to eat this. I want to eat this. I want to eat this. You're like my freaking four-year-old. Obnoxious and bottomless pit. All right, cauliflowers. Pines get sold. No, we'll keep that as town's gifts. I guess we could do a round through the town. Why not? Ooh, we got some newspapers here. Yeah, let's sort all these things. Hey, I'm not bothering cooking the green beans. I got I got what I wanted out of them. Get you out of there. 
Um, and yeah, no, we're not selling gold bars. That would be crazy talk. I mean, even though we had 46 of them, now 50 of them, still crazy talk. I do want to put those away uh, because those are useful and I wouldn't call them rare as so much as I'd call them useful and not readily available. Because you get away from the lightning storms and all that. That's why we built so many of those dang uh, lightning rods. Because, uh, yeah, we want to be prepared and we want to reap the benefits when storms happen. Alright, let's get the garbage up at the top so I can start churning those. Oops. Any other bits of garbage? No, that's fine. Much better. Do I have some spare wood to burn? I do. Oh yeah, I can go check out Pam. Uh, go talk to her and see what her prices are. Do some uh, do some comparison shopping, if you will. And maybe give her a better gift this time. Goats don't cause the apocalypse when I'm gone. Thank you. It is slightly faster to run up here, I think. Meh. I'm running up here anyway. You can't stop me. It's Saturday, so she's not jazzercising. Uh, Rarity had a nice walk. Ten. So, buying ten wood would allow me to process myself some, uh, one coal, which is ultimately cheaper than Clint's. Um, so, what we really need to do is just get more smelters, because sitting there waiting for those eight to happen, not as efficient. Um, but if we bought just a whole metric F ton of wood, uh, I'm trying to figure out which button causes me to. Uh, Causes me to buy things faster. Ah, there it goes. It wasn't the right shift, it was the left shift. Let's buy an entire stack of wood. There we go. And now, now we have some more crafting to do. We have to craft up some more of our uh, some more of our uh, our smelter things, and I have an idea. Let's let's move them since we're gonna need them in even quiet even greater quantities. Oh boy! Ay ay ay! Again with the not being able to talk today. Well, first let us harvest the goodies. That, well, I didn't want to put more stuff in them, but all right, fine. We'll do another round here, and then I'll enact my uh, my plan. What? You're too good to merge that on there? left there but that's okay we'll harvest that coal okay now let us uproot these for the moment no I didn't want to get the freaking cobblestone path that's gonna bother me We're going to find a new home for these for the moment. And we're going to also make a whole bunch more of them. What do they require? Wood and gold bars. <laughs> Have gold bars, we'll travel. Um, let me Let me just use up some other stuff in my inventory here. Just to clean things out a bit. Put that in there, put that in there. Put that up there. Uh, we'll keep the wood, obviously. Uh, we do need a stack of stone. That there, that there. 
There we go. All right, let's manufacture a whole bunch of these. We we'll want to make them in lots of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't fit. Can't fit another bunch of those. But well, we'll see if we want to go that that far. So these we're gonna put actually kind of far away because uh, we're only gonna use them when we're well ready to use them. Although, hmm. Let me think of a better place for them. I need to get it. I need to have a place where they're easy to get at. Maybe like a big conga line here. Or this will be our smelting station here. Five. This way we can just mass produce and mass burn wood on an epic scale. I'll do a big sort after this. Um, is there something there? Nothing there? That's gonna bother my OCD. Oh yeah, mushrooms? Mushrooms. Yeah, we'll make these a big old column here. And boop, there we go. So now we can transform quite a bit of, uh, of goodies at once. And now we can really mass produce these preserves jars. Because think about it, we buy all this wood, we turn it all into coal, So I do want to thank one of my viewers for suggesting that we go and buy wood um, because at this point it is more temporally efficient to buy it and burn it than it is uh, than it is to go and harvest it naturally. That being said, I will still harvest it naturally from the farm as when I have the time and space and the trees for it. But I'm going to wait for the trees to grow up in density before I uh, before I do more of that. All right. Preserves jar, preserves jar, preserves jar, preserves jar. And that's going to be all the all the preserves jar we're, we're going to be doing today. But still, holy crap, that is a lot of preserves jars that we're going to be adding to our mixture here. Oop, yeah, those peaches go on there. Ooh, you guys are all getting settled here. Excellent. Oh God, they're all, I'm, I'm here just in time. All the cauliflower, all the cauliflower is coming ready. I'm flipping these over at the exact perfect time. No, we're not eating cauliflower. Yeah, let's use up the peaches first. Clear the inventory spaces. But this is such perfect timing because there is literally no downtime. So these things are churning and burning as quickly as they can be. Wow, all right, we burned through all of those. Back out with the cranberries. The, uh, the staple uh, thing will eat into our, uh, in, into our proverbial nest egg, if you will. Also, oh, these need to get moved down a row. Let me let me move them down a row, and then I'll just continue doing that as these things finish up here. 
Because if you if you knock them out now, they they lose that whatever they were processing and also all progress on it. So you don't want to do that if you can avoid it. Even more preserves jars. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have this barn filled in no time. No time, I say. No time like the present. We can get rid of this stupid heater, too. They don't need a heater. We'll put that in the other barn, since uh, one of my viewers informed me that uh, having just one heater in a barn is not enough. So we'll double up our heaters in the other barn to uh, for, well, whenever next winter hits, anyway. And close that. There, another heater. Enjoy. And we're gonna get one heck of a payload from our uh, from our artisan goods this time around. One heck of a payload. Oh, wait, what am I doing? That's not the cell box. You're the cell box. Hello, Mr. Cell Box. I have things for you. Like 43 pickled cauliflowers. Enjoy. Boy, I'm glad uh, there's no such thing as like market demand. Oh, wait, we got some mushrooms. Yeah, market demand where prices go down when you oversupply. That would be an interesting uh, mod, like like a like a commodities market. But for for your for your or a futures market is, uh, I guess, what the uh, the proper term is for for uh, when you're when you're like having a stock market but for crops that would be that would make things interesting because then you really need to look deep into sort of diversifying your holdings um, to ensure that you're always getting a decent income um, so yeah there get on that concern date make it the the serious business expansion pack include taxes and other fun stuff like that well, fun in the Dwarf court Fortress kind of fun. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, I think I think that is a good thing, but I want to see how much money we're going to get from all this. I think it's going to be a lot. And it'll be even more once uh, all those uh, new uh, those new things uh, get pressed into service. That's what I'm talking about. Cauliflower, cauliflower. Oh, yeah. Blue jazz honey, pickled cauliflowers, goat cheese. Looking good. All right, folks. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.